just a really quick video here to talk about transforming multiple points. So you can see I've got one, two, three, four, five, six points here, and I want to reflect that in uh, the y-axis. So I want to, and you know what that will look like. Now that's going to be a huge pain if you need to transform each individual point using six different matrix transformations. But thankfully, matrices are just um, lists of points. In the, or they can be just lists of points. So we can use one whole matrix to do that. So how can I do that? Well, if we call this object Q, and this is obviously the image of object Q, uh, we can create a formula that looks like this. The image of object Q is equal to the transformation matrix times the object Q. Now, the transformation matrix to reflect something, uh, it should be negative 1, 0, uh, 0, 1. All right, so there's my reflection in the Y axis. Uh, now, this is going to be my image. Now, what's my object? Well, I can write in my object as a 2 by 6 matrix. My first point is just going to be AX, AY. So those coordinates, the X coordinate and the Y coordinate. The next point is going to be BX, BY. And then we get this fantastic thing, which is a 2 by 6 matrix of every single point in my object. And that matrix could go on forever and ever and ever and ever. It could go as big as you want it. We could get as high fidelity in there as you like. Um, now, from there, what have we got? This is a 2x2 two two matrix. This is a 2x6 matrix. I can multiply them together because the columns of this equal the rows of this. The result is going to be a 2x6 two matrix. And that 2x6 two matrix will be a dash x, a dash y, b dash x, b dash y. And we get this lovely thing. Um, so, if you're doing these things, we can do it all in a single calculation. Now, given my matrix is getting pretty big here, I really would suggest that we're just typing this into our calculator and typing this into our calculator, and it should spit us out a nice, neat matrix. But there's no reason you couldn't multiply this through by hand, this times this. Um, you know how to do matrix multiplication. Um, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. Important to note, I guess, that a lot of computer graphics and games and things like that, we're, we're essentially just transforming objects over and over and over again. Lots and lots of matrix multiplication.